no matter how bad it seems, you can find joy again. In this video, we're going to go on a journey to bring joy back into your life. Hi beautiful beings, I'm Carol Raythel, Occupational Therapist, Metaphysical Minister. I was asked today, if life is a constant cycle of suffering, then shouldn't we want our lives to be over so we can be at peace? I consulted my guides and tuned in and Archangel Azrael came to help with this answer. The message begins. Weep not, beautiful ones, when the sun does shine and life abounds with the divine spark of life that runs through the entire universe. The physical universe was created so that you could know yourself as love. For without the contrast, you could not know yourself as love. So you, as a soul, chose to have an incarnation in the human experience on Earth in the third dimension. Earth is the place where a rich range of life experiences occur because of the gift of free will. In many other realms in the multidimensional universe, all know that they are one, one God, one being, one mind. And there is no free will, only the will of the one. The beings only know themselves as the creator. In order to know the qualities of love, peace, joy, happiness, life was created to exist in the third dimension. There is a veil placed between your awareness and the whole of you who never leaves the oneness. As far as you're aware, you come into a body and in time forget where you came from. You were never separated from the one. You are not. It is all an illusion. Yet it is an illusion chosen because of all the rich diversity of life on earth. Many growing souls chose to incarnate in the third dimension for the acceleration of their growth. Lessons can be learned many times faster. It is in the forgetting of who you really are that causes the suffering. And you move in cycles in your life because each cycle offers you the opportunity to grow a bit, expand a bit, and remember who you really are. And to live more in alignment with your real nature as light. We know there is no real death. You never die. When you are connected with your awareness as the light, you know this. From our point of view, the life you live is a mere blink on your entire existence. Yet the third dimension makes it seem so much longer like an eternity. We exist in the eternal now. You exist in the eternal now. But time was constructed for the third dimension to allow you to have a point of reference for your human brain to make sense of the experiences in this realm. Your yogis, the ones who have ascended, understood that suffering could be eliminated by understanding this world you live on is an illusion. You can live in the illusion, yet know it is an illusion. It's like live in the world, but do not be of this world. You have talents and gifts that are part of your energy or your soul. Your energy created your body and sustains it with life. Your energy is capable of communicating with the unseen and higher dimensional parts of yourself, other beings, and your guidance from your guides, who chose to join you to help you make the choices that you wanted to make before you came into this life. Meditate and be open to hear them. Ask the questions and be silent to hear the answers. Remember you are a spiritual being. You are a being of light, first and always. You light up when you are operating from your light. 
rather than the ego. The ego only knows suffering, envy, anger and fear. It is cut off from knowing you are never alone. It is the challenge of the third dimension. Your life is about overcoming your ego and training it to be able to submit to your higher soul aspects or your light. So when you lift your awareness and operate from your light vibration, your soul, this is where you can draw joy into your life. Your light is a powerful creator. It is one of the most wonderful aspects of your soul that you bring into your life experience with you. When you are creating, you are connected within through your psychic glands, your pineal gland and your energy channels with your soul and further up with your higher self and beyond. Doing the things you love to do and the things that you have always enjoyed, no matter if you feel like it or not, will connect you with your light and bring the joy back into your life. Or help someone else, maybe a friend, a family member or something in your community. Serving others aligns you with your light. When we help others, we open our hearts and the joy of being able to help or change someone's day returns to you manyfold. This channel, Carol, when she was an occupational therapist, she monitored the progress of some clients who had suffered accidents with no movement below their neck. The only part they could move was their head and their face. They learned to paint holding a paintbrush in their mouth and they created beautiful paintings that became Christmas cards and gift cards. They fundraised with these cards to help others who had new spinal injuries so that they could move through the transition more comfortably and they provided support as they adjusted to a very different life. If you can move your mouth and tongue or if you can talk, you can reach out across the world and help someone who is suffering. Help them move out of their darkness into light and help them find joy. Even those who are afflicted in ways you feel would be the absolute worst case ever, they can find joy. Secondly, love yourself. Love yourself. It can be easy to look at yourself your life right now and believe you have screwed it up totally. But I challenge you with this. Where you are now is exactly the right place to be to create your future. It is the first day of your future. What do you want that to be? The loving yourself part of this is if you could do or be something, or be somewhere that is your ultimate dream. Today is the first day of your journey towards that. Now, in this time and space on Earth, people create more and more from their light self, their soul, as opposed to putting in physical effort. This is a measure of how you all have lifted your vibration on Earth. The gift you brought with you from the non-physical is the power to create. So choose what you want. Choose it for you. Love yourself enough to make choices that make your heart sing. If it lights up your heart, do that. When you do what you love, you light up those around you and it ripples out and out and touches the entire universe. We feel this as the hum of joy resounding through all creation. So you might right now be at the very bottom of one of your cycles, suffering the pain from a loss, or maybe you lost a relationship, maybe you've been diagnosed with a disease, an incurable disease. We feel for you. We have great compassion for you third dimension has some very challenging and painful experiences. But remember, it is an illusion. Lift your awareness to see life from your place of light. There is always a way to find joy. 
Yes, you may need time to heal. Be in your light while you heal. Love yourself through the healing. Love yourself as you release your pain. And when you are ready, turn your attention to what matters to you. And you will shine again. In each situation of pain or suffering, there are lessons. Life teaches us. Learn those lessons. Let it allow you to grow and to expand and shift your viewpoint higher and higher. Remember always, life is happening for you, not against you. Remember this always. And know this as well. You are never alone. Your guidance is with you 24-7. Remember to talk with them. Remember to listen. Also, don't isolate yourself from others. Reach out. Meet people, either online or in your real life around you. Find your tribe. These are the ones who share the same goals or share the same values that you do. They can respect and nurture your dreams and they can cheer you on. They can help you overcome the challenges. Celebrate your victories and cheer you on when you feel like quitting. Together, you are unstoppable. I highly recommend you listen to this again, take notes, and begin to write down what you want from life if you don't know it right now. Or if you do, write that down and imagine it, feel the joy of being in that picture, and never stop. Never stop moving towards your dream. Well, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed it, please like this video so YouTube shares it around to others who enjoy similar content. It triggers the algorithm. And subscribe so you can enjoy more of my content in the future. I have such a wide range of content, but that's because we are such diverse people. So I'll leave it there. I look forward to seeing you, and I will be waiting for you in the next video. Bye for now.